So do you think within the traveling industries there's a bit of a problem? Today, it's like very easy to travel uh, also to, to less known places. So at this stage, it's okay. But um, so I told you, I went to the, to the Faroe Islands and their population is about 50,000 people. Uh, and they have like now 150,000, 200,000 tourists a year. But they were planning to have direct flights from the USA towards the Faroe Islands. And it was also a question I got from, um, from the Faroe East journalist that, that asked me the, those questions. Um, that, that the Faroe East people are, are afraid to have with those direct flights, that they will have half a million or more tourists a year. But for an, um, for the islands where there are only 50,000 people living, that's, that's really a lot. And I, I think, yeah, that, that they may, may suffer from that, that there will be simply too much tourists comparing to their population. And I think the same thing, uh, is happening or will happen to Iceland because Iceland is also only with 300,000 people, but receive, uh, I think, 2 million tourists a year. So that's really a lot. And as those places really rely on their beautiful nature, that can really, I, I think they might suffer in the future. They suffer from the future. Is it because there's going to be way too many people and there's not enough people living there to sort of control uh, what's surrounding them. If you have like too, too many people in nature, nature, nature will simply suffer from it. Um, it's maybe a stupid example, but uh, one time Justin Bieber um, did a video in, uh, in a famous canyon over there in Iceland, and then they literally had to close it because a lot of people were, were standing on, on the crosses, which is um, you are not able to, it's prohibited. Uh, so that's also an example, in my opinion, of the rule of social media these days. And that's not always a good, a good thing, in my opinion. So it's good that, that we can travel more easily. Um, but I think for small nations, small touristic nations with lots of tourists that could give issues these days.